we're excited to show you how to migrate your legacy designs from earlier versions of Designer into Designer 6. To begin, make sure you have both the legacy Designer software and Designer 6 software installed on the same computer. Let's start by opening up your earlier version of Designer and navigating to the My Projects tab. From here, you can select the Conference NW design. Inside this project, you'll find two conference room files, Meeting Room 420 and Meeting Room 405. Now let's go back to the Project folder and export this project. To do this, click on the three dots on the far right and choose Export from the drop-down menu. A file window will open with a DPRJ file in the Designer folder, named Conference NW. Leave it in that location and consider Step 1 completed. Next, let's open up Designer 6. In the upper left-hand corner of the screen, locate the File Location option and choose the Designer folder where you saved the Conference NW DPRJ file. Once you've found it, open the file. You'll see a new window informing you that this is a legacy file and asking if you want to open it in Designer 6. Click on Choose Save Location. This will take you back to the file window. Create a new folder under Designer called Test123 and select it. A pop-up window will appear, allowing you to select Open from the Project Conference NW. Choose All to open both rooms and generate two new tabs with their names at the top of Designer. As you can see, the two tabs now appear for Meeting Room 420 and Meeting Room 405. Let's click on the Coverage tab to ensure the coverage is still intact. It seems that the coverage is there for Room 420, but there is no room diagram. Now let's focus on Room 405. Go to the Coverage tab and you'll find that the coverage and room diagram are both present. We will continue with Room 405 and attempt to deploy and connect it. However, we realize that we missed a step. Before associating each device with a live device, we need to ensure that all devices have been upgraded with version 6 firmware. Take a look at the devices and you'll notice that a few of them haven't been updated with firmware 6 yet. Specifically, the MXN 5C, MXA mute button, and P300 need to be updated. To update the firmware, open the Sure Update Utility app. This is another piece of software that you need to have installed on your computer for a smooth transition from Legacy Designer to Designer 6. Once the Sure Update Utility is open, locate the devices and select the appropriate firmware 6 update for each device. Once selected, click on Send 3 Updates at the bottom right of the SUU. Please note that in this video we have sped up the time that it takes to update each device for your convenience. The devices have been successfully updated and you can see the updates reflected in Designer 6 when you view each device. Now that all devices have been updated, we can proceed with deploying all of our virtual devices to live devices. To see how this is done, you can refer to the Designer 6 Deploy and Connect video.